in this lecture I want to take us through on a simple method to edit our sequences and uh, build consensus sequence let's assume that our we have sequenced a gene a certain gene with the forward and reverse how do you look at that with the sequences edit the parts that are not good build a consensus sequence use the consensus sequence to query the database be blast or do other things we want to do so first go online buy the 7.2 download it and install once it's done it will look like this it will look black you know as if it's dark thing just like this so you look out for your sequences either here open sequence set or two files so if you click anywhere you open go to where your file is but once you open to see in search through the folder come to the file type and select all make sure it's in all so you'll be able to see every file inside a particular folder so we you select the first strand the forward strand first this is my two forward and reverse select the forward first and two interfaces we open one is like showing all the sequence like this another is showing the chromatogram this is a chromatogram this is the, this file is an ab1 file it comes as a chromatogram there is another one that comes as fastq file it doesn't have chromatogram but i prefer the ones that has proper chromatogram chromatogram you can edit in the sequence remove parts that are not good so here we see our sequences if you increase this like this you can scroll like this and look at the sequences you can see the parts that are not so good for example this first part is obviously not good it doesn't have any you know peak at all you can decide to remove it but for us to do that first we need to put this particular uh, sequence to be editable so we click editable sequence and then we come to this place that we want to remove and highlight them maybe the first 10 nucleotide we want to remove them so highlight them and we go to edit and copy selection we have to open a a word you know a word or notepad uh, notepad you paste it in a notepad okay let me copy it let's go back and copy selection copy selection oh okay uh, before you copy selection we need to copy the whole sequence first let's copy the whole sequence first so we copy sequence as raw text copy it as raw text paste it here in your notepad i prefer notepad uh, though you can also paste in uh, in 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 the word documents okay so let's do both and see what happens then we the part we want to cut it could be within the sequence it could be anywhere but i'm using this as an example as an example we cut this then we go here and, and copy selection from edit once we copy selection we go to that so we need to find it ctrl f we need to find that part we paste it here and find it ctrl f we paste it we, we find it we cancel so once it's done we remove it this way okay so as we have uh, removed it then we can go if we can go back and look at this the, the, the chromatogram again any part we feel it's not good you know we you, you keep editing until you get you remove different parts you want to edit okay then we open the second the reverse the same way we go and we open our reverse strand open our reverse strand this way open it will give us chromatogram again then we do the same thing make it editable sequence 
and then we want to remove this part you see this part doesn't seem okay how you will know the part that see that the chromatogram around this part is muffled up so and moreover you see the sequences are repeated once you see all this is, 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 a, a single nucleotide that repeats several times it's, it's a, a bad part okay so we we are building we are copying these parts you say okay have we pasted the whole thing okay let's paste first let's copy the whole sequence first we copy the whole sequence edit copy sequence as raw text we come here we form another and we paste then we go back let's select these parts and uh, copy selection we go back and we find control f paste it inside it and we find it so this is our our reverse strand so we make it reverse strand call it greater than in a faster format this is a faster format when you say faster format format it has a reverse a greater than right greater than sign and an identifier so this is our reverse we copy it we do the same thing to our forward strand we call it the forward Okay, we also copy it, copy them and paste them in a, a, a notepad. I prefer notepad. So if we copy this, paste it here, then we look for our reverse, copy again, then paste. <coughs> then after pasting, we have copy both of them but you see it's now on clipboard you go back you need to take them back into the the bio edit so we close up everything close up everything and we go to file we go to new from clipboard once you click new from clipboard it will import it so this is uh, our forward and reverse so for you to one of the things you will do next is to convert the reverse strand to the opposite that's what called called reverse complement remember the forward strand is in the direction five prime to three prime the reverse strand is in the direction three prime to five prime so but we need to bring rotate the reverse strand to be in the same dimension or direction of the forward which is five prime to three prime so we click on the reverse strand we click on sequence we go to nucleotide we go to reverse components once you click it it will change so the next thing you do is to form pairwise alignments to do that you select both of them you hold control select both of them and you click on uh, click on sequence same sequence and you go there to pairwise alignment and you choose align to sequence allow ends to slide once you click it it will give you two frames one frame will show you alignment score note it and not an identity percentage identity this 0 0.468 means 0. I mean 46.8 percent or so just percentage of alignment but we are interested in this frame you can see the forward and reverse you see that the reverse is lacking basis in the in the uh, initial while the forward has it but if you scroll like this towards the end you see that the forward is lacking some basis here while the reverse is complemented. So this is the essence you, you should sequence your good forward.
constructs that is the essence so with this we can go on to build our consensus sequence once you have lines both of them like this you build a consensus sequence you go to alignment you create consensus it will give you a single consensus sequence you can copy this consensus sequence by writing it like this and click on on uh, edit and say copy sequence as faster format once you copy it you can put it in a new a new file a new document like this paste it pasting it you have to remove the dash remove the dash I remove all the gaps all these gaps you have to remove if if we had done a good work we have to have had maybe a very small gap because we are using this as an example so when this is the sequence you are going to use to query the database so in the next slide or next lecture we will talk about how to use the consensus sequence to query the our to query the database so uh, thank you so much. See you in the next video.